Earth Gang, what up my uh my Taurus, my Virgo, and my Capricorn it's your girl Killer K, aka K Love in the villain. Tell me how you feeling. Alright, so I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling good. This is gonna be from the week of January 4th to January 11th. So uh buckle in because this is a new year. Welcome to 2021, everybody. You completed your module. So you out here doing your motherfucking thing. I need you to also, if you're new, if if you're new i need you to hit the subscribe button with the post notification bell so you don't miss when you go live if you've been rocking with me since 2020 we got through this shit look at us now i feel like that's that's the it's an accomplishment so i feel like earth signs you guys are focused you guys could have hit the ground running i feel like whatever could have been like slowing you down or the bullshit you're just like it's a brand new year let me get plugged into a brand new situation a brand new plan or i feel like that's at least what you want to do that's your intention i feel like keep going though you're doing really good like keep going keep doing your thing all right i feel like you're you're something you're planning on making some changes with your money possibly um shifting your money moving your money or um you know what i'm saying creating new bank accounts like opening new avenues for your money i feel like i know earth signs literally have like at least three to four bank accounts i feel like earth signs they have a couple different like they got two different savings accounts three different checking accounts three different debit cards you feel me i feel like you guys are really trying to master your money and be ahead of the game when it comes to your money and your finances and your stability so that's good let me get a sip of water Earth signs, I feel like it's time to get organized. If you have not already made these accounts or did these intentions or set goals for how much you want to accomplish in savings, I feel like it's time to do that. So you could be doing that right now. I feel like it's busy. I feel like you you busy, okay? So you doing something that's keeping you busy. I'm getting the entrepreneurs. You guys could have been like, whew, finally the holidays are over. All your shipping is done. Things have gotten where they need to go. Maybe you could be dealing with the residuals of that if you're a business owner, like, Okay, I finally got all this stuff shipped out, or I finally got all the products made, or I finally am done dealing with that stuff, but there's still more work to do. Now it's time for you to set new goals for this year. Now it's time for you to move forward here. All right, so let's just get it popping. Thank you guys, guardians, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and guardians for allowing us to interpret the messages as they're meant to be received on behalf of all the earth signs. Uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo from January 4th to January 11th. Thank you so much, Creator Source, the most high above all, for allowing me to interpret the messages as they're meant to be received on behalf of all the earth signs. Capricorn Taurus Virgo, on behalf of money, career, relationship, family, well-being, health, all of the above. Thank you for allowing those who truly need to the message to see this whenever they're so called. And thank you for all the love, like, share, subscribe, comments. I feel like somebody needs to let something go in order for so something good to come in. They need to let something go. And this person could know this already. All right. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for protecting and securing this connection from any lower vibrational energies or entities. Somebody needs to get something off their chest, possibly. Either you or someone else does. What's the messages for the Earth signs from January 4th to January 11th? For Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, please. What are the messages for them? Okay, so we have divine timing here. We also have meditation new beginning here so somebody's trying to figure out when to make a when to start a new beginning or when something's going to start or when to just begin a new journey here somebody does have some ideas and inspirations i feel like somebody is receiving some sort of ideas like it was a miracle or somebody like thank you for telling me this or thank you for saying this because this created an idea it's like somebody is, is giving you information or telling you something and you're getting some sort of ideas here this is a miracle like this is divine work that you met somebody that knew how to do exactly what you, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody is getting some gems dropped or somebody's getting some information here. Somebody's getting ideas on how to make a miracle or how a miracle is going to happen here. But I do feel like somebody does need to take care of their energy in this in this time or this is what you're doing, Earth sign, in regards to nurture your power and keep your power. I feel like you need to keep your power. You may have gained your power or enhanced your power. Now you need to learn the master lesson of keeping your power yours. Don't be giving your power away. And what's coming towards um, what's coming towards Earth signs? I'm hearing Capricorn. That's definitely for you. What's coming towards or Earth signs at the end of the week? Somebody could be needing to talk, or somebody gets choked up during an interview, or something like somebody gets choked up, or somebody's trying to say something. But I feel like there's blessings coming to you at the end of the week. To be honest, I feel like you're gonna have more balance. You're trusting in the manifestations that are coming towards you. 
Are you trusting in the things that are happening already? Like, if something, you just like, whatever happens, happens, man. We have listening here with dreams and soulmates. So if you are with somebody, you could be getting dreams about the person you want to be with or the person you need to be with. You're getting certain dreams about them here. You may not be telling this person this, but you got a dream about somebody possibly recently or you will this week. That's who your true soulmate is. Or you could be getting a dream about what your soulmate is doing. Okay, so I feel like if you get a dream that make you feel good about a person, that's your true soulmate. Or you could be just seeing something beautiful. It was sent to you by your soulmate. Okay? It could also be seeing what somebody's doing right now that they may not be telling you. But I feel like you're getting the truth that is manifesting here. So you're okay with that. Okay. Let me get the board organized here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now it's coming together. Okay. So let's check it out with the tarot. We're going to use the um, Afro tarot goddess. Afro goddess. I don't know. Afro goddess tarot. Why is divine timing here with meditation and new beginnings, please, for earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo during the week? King of Wands wanted to come out so fucking bad. So I feel like if this is a male... If this is a male uh, earth sign, you you looking good to somebody or somebody looking good to you or you thinking about taking action on somebody here or when to start something, when to take action on a situation, but you could feel stressed. I feel like you're stressed out because you haven't said something that you've been needing to say or somebody hasn't been saying something that they need to say, so they're stressed out. Why is divine timing here with meditation? And new beginnings, please, for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If you're a feminine uh, earth sign, you looking at somebody really good. Like, oh, let me look at you. Or you, somebody looking good to you. Okay, why is divine time here? Meditation, new beginnings, please. Somebody's not saying something to a water sign because they're trying to avoid the tower moment. Why is divine timing here with meditation and new beginnings, please, for my earth signs? So we have nine of cups. So there's some sort of wish for filming here, but I feel like something's not successful here because so I feel like, okay, in the in the beginning of, of pretty much the energy of January, it feels like there's a wish fulfillment that you have, but maybe somebody feels they're not supported or they feel like they're going to be a failure because there's other competition or there's some sort of drama stopping them. Somebody feels like they could get rejected. So I feel like somebody wants to say something to you. This this fire sign could be, a uh, you know, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Somebody wants to say something to you or take action towards you, but they feel like something's not going to be supported or that you, there's other competitors and they're going to get rejected here is what I'm getting. If this is not a person, this could literally just be um, you yourself possibly feeling conflicted or some petty drama or feeling rejected like you're not going to be supported in this so there's not going to be a victory here that's the immediate energy i get for somebody either coming towards you or this is you okay why is ideas and inspiration here with miracles okay so i feel like somebody didn't fully tell you their truth or somebody could have been gossiping and not telling the truth or some something gets back to you about somebody gossiping and not telling you the truth or the truth gets out about who was really gossiping. I feel like it's this water sign here. You need to move away from this person. Or this person is moving away from you. They're not committed. The emperor reversed. They they could be married, but they're not committed. They, they're they done juggling or you're done juggling them. You're going to manifest something else. Or you're done being juggles. One or the other. Pick your side. But yeah, um, it feels like some gossip that was going around. The truth comes out about it. Somebody has to come back to you to get out of some sort of stagnancy. Or you have to go back to being out of some sort of stagnancy, okay? Somebody's trying to come back to a missed opportunity is what I'm getting to. They didn't take action on telling their truth. Or they, they let this energy of feeling rejected get them from telling the truth. Now they're going to have to come back to something that they tried to ignore. Okay, why is power here with body care, please? For earth signs. Okay, so I'm getting definitely... Uh, I'm hearing Capricorn and Virgo right away. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. There could be a lot of options or some sort of confusion here. Somebody stopped. So I feel like something was causing confusion because somebody was possibly taking a bad risk. Somebody stopped taking a bad risk here. 
Cause they were they they it was causing confusion. I feel like somebody has opened up their options by not dealing with a certain situation. There could be a group of friends or somebody that wants to talk to you, or some group that wants to. You could want to be in a group of friends, or you may want to be back with a group of friends, or somebody wants to be back with you, but they're not saying it. All right. Okay, so somebody could be trying to figure out how to say it. Okay, we got Libra energy, Ace of Swords, but we also have Leo energy. Got that five of wands, which is that Aries energy. So we got a lot of fire. We got some water in here too. Somebody also may want to reunite with you after you stop doing something. After you stop taking a bad leap of faith. Somebody wants to reunite with you, but they're not saying it. It could be causing some confusion. This person could be giving you mixed signals. Why is blessings here with balance, please, for earth signs? Okay, so I feel like your work life may be more stable. Something's going to be stabilizing your work. Or if you work from home, I feel like you're going to get a blessing to work from home. With the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, that's literally Eight of Pentacles. I mean, yeah, I said Ten of Pentacles. Somebody trying to get to that 10 and they saving. Somebody trying to reach that 10K, that 100K, that 10, okay? But somebody is going to be working from home or somebody's working on a home. So somebody could be working on moving. Somebody's working from home or they're working on a stable relationship here. Why is balance here, please? Yeah, somebody's working to build something in a home, possibly, or build their own home or something. Something really cool is happening for some earth signs. I'm definitely getting Virgo energy here with this. Okay, why is truth and integrity here with manifestation, please? For earth signs. I feel like somebody stops juggling something. I feel like when somebody stops juggling something, it's like there could have been some secrets or some sort of deception. Somebody stops juggling that shit, they get over that shit, like get over it real quick they block that energy out because now they see that this god of pentacles or they could see who somebody really is okay i feel like they i feel like somebody blocked something out quick because they they see who who their potential person is or who they could be in in regards to in a relationship to a cups they're not saying anything but they want to build this ten of pentacles here but somebody hasn't moved on from some sort of stress and they're regretting an injustice here okay why is listening here with dreams and soulmate, please? Ooh. Okay, we got the magician here with the three of wands. I feel like somebody is waiting for somebody to do something or manifest something. Somebody's waiting for something to manifest. I feel like somebody has seen something in their dreams. We have this goddess of cup. So this person could be waiting for this water sign. Or this could be somebody that just... Somebody could be waiting for the, the mother of their child here. Somebody's like, I'm waiting for the mother of my child here. But somebody has to leave um, a relationship. Somebody that could be unloyal or dealing with other people, talks negatively, is codependent. They have to come out of that stagnant energy in order to make peace and, and move forward here. Why is soulmate here, please? Yeah, something is going to... I feel like, why is soulmate here? Something is going to be falling apart with a Leo so it can work together with, a, with a, a, a water sign or this other person. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, specifically a Leo, that shit's going to fall apart so that it can make way for the person who's supposed to be the mother of your child. Somebody decides to stop giving into energy and hold back on doing that shit. And they get unstuck from some sort of tension. They decline like even giving information about a situation. Okay, something has something's ending in one breath and it's starting in the next. All right, let's get some clarity real quick. We're gonna check it out with my uh as well so below. So who is this king of wands and why is this king of wands here? Who is this king of wands? Who is this king of wands, please? For earth signs that point towards Virgo. Okay, so this King of Wands, is something was revealed about some sort of drama. This King of Wands, okay, I feel like this King of Wands could be somebody from your past. Because this King of Wands to me is feeling like somebody who, some sort of secret or something was re revealed about this person possibly. I also feel like a water sign is trying to manipulate a victory. They're trying to manipulate some sort of support or making things seem like they're a victory. But this fire sign, some sort of drama could have came out. Or this could have came out that you was dealing with a fire sign. Okay. Why is the nine of cups here with the six of wands reversed and the five of wands? Yeah, somebody trying to figure out some sort of information here. Somebody trying to figure out if this emperor and this empress are, are broken up. Or this is you. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out what happened or somebody's doing this to you. Page of Pentacles here. 
with the emperor and the empress reversed and lover cards reversed. I feel like somebody could have had high hopes about a family situation. This knave of pentacles could be a child watching their family be broken up or watching somebody um, not be committed to each other. Okay. Why is the seven of wands reversed, please? Somebody's going to somebody's gonna offer some sort of hope here, but I feel like they're going to go back on what they said that they were going to do. So somebody could, Aquarius could be offering you something, but they're going to go back on what they said they were going to do. And you're not sure how to invest in the energy. I say wait, give it about three to five days, okay? However long that takes uh, as far as whenever they give you the offer is going to take some time. Then you're going to have to give them three to five days. But yeah, I feel like somebody, yeah, somebody was gossiping about you and the truth comes out. Like somebody could have been saying this, 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 and this, and the truth comes out. Yeah, I feel like you end the struggle and get some sort of clarity about some stagnancy that you were stuck in. This feels like friends to me or a lover or something like this. This feels like somebody is a, uh, yeah, somebody going to have to eat the words that they said about you or a situation. Somebody in some sort of tension. They get clarity on where the confusion even started. Like, okay, so I feel like somebody ignored something or let something go for too long. And they and now they see why this, like, you let somebody just be up in your space for too long or have an opinion about your life for too long. Now you got to let them know. Or, or you just get some clarity about that shit. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed with the Four of Cups reversed, please? Okay, so I feel like somebody was talking shit that gets revealed here about how somebody was... I feel like this is somebody, uh, King of Swords reverse. This could be Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Seven of Swords reverse. Somebody was trying to be cold and hide something or lie about something by being cold to you and make a decision to do that. I feel like this person, I feel like somebody is double tongued. Like this could be somebody in your life that, um, you feel me? They, they switch up on you. Two of Swords is like being undecisive so they change up on you constantly you could ask them a question and they have two different answers if you ask them at two different times to the same fucking question so i feel like this is somebody that if they were in the event of needing to defend you when you were not in the presence of them or others trying to attack you they would switch up and talk shit about you with the people trying to attack you they would not defend you this is that king of swords reverse here somebody who is cruel i feel like you indecisive I feel like some or somebody is in this. I don't know. Somebody is trying to withhold information, or somebody wasn't aware that this is how this person is. If they're in the midst of, of of enemies, they you couldn't tell them apart from the enemies because they're going around talking with the people too. This could also be an ex here. Something that they were hiding comes up, and it could leave you a little shocked. Maybe they were indecisive about you, or they were juggling you another person. Exactly. Three three of cups here with the five of swords reversed. Somebody regrets reuniting with a group of friends or reuniting with somebody because you find out that they were still juggling you or they've been doing the same shit like you find out more shit that you probably didn't know before there could have been some shit you found out a period of time but it wasn't everything that there was now you find out everything you like damn well you was just chopping up my motherfucking name wasn't you all right why is the seven of cups here with the Sun of pentacles reverse and the full car reverse i feel like somebody literally stops doing some shit they have the option to stop doing some shit somebody uh avoids a tower moment by just moving on or healing somebody literally could just be moving to a avoid a tower moment like so before i go off on you motherfuckers i'm just gonna keep it pushing yeah i feel like a fire sign that you could be in a long-term relationship with somebody feels left out in the cold i feel like somebody could have left you or you left them but now someone wants to have a new opportunity here I don't know. It feel like they planning on keeping information from you. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Why is the Son of Swords reversed with the Three of Cups for Earth signs? Somebody is coming back here. I feel like somebody is going back to not giving to you emotionally. So this could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody going back to not giving to you. I feel like Virgo. This is you. Taurus. This is you. Capricorn. This is you. Somebody is going back to not giving to you or you went back to somebody that couldn't give you shit. Now you now you in your emotions. But I feel like that's going to change because you're going to find out that somebody was lying. What did I say? Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Uh, I mean, Page of Wands reversed with Ace of Swords. Somebody was gossiping and the truth's going to come out. You're going to figure out that somebody was lying on you. Somebody created an argument because they ran their fucking mouth too much, period. They took they they did something too soon. They took advantage of you or they bragging about taking advantage of you. Somebody's causing a conflict in a relationship. 
and a connection here because they got some toxic ass childhood wounds or something. I feel like somebody is literally juggling whether they can manipulate you or manipulate a situation to have a victory by using magic here. Okay, that's what I'm getting or using some sort of bullshit. This person on some bullshit here. I don't know who this is. I'm getting definite Capricorn energy, Virgo and Taurus. You guys need to listen up. You can avoid this shit by moving forward. If you do not, you're going to go back to a situation where somebody takes advantage of you or somebody doesn't hold their end of the bargain emotionally. And you're going to it's going to change either way. You're going to find out that they're lying. It's like, how many times can you say the same thing? Okay, why is the Eight of Pentacles here with the Four of Wands and Three of Pentacles, please, for Earth signs? Somebody makes a judgment here. I feel like somebody makes a judgment to focus on their money. Literally, somebody makes a judgment to focus on their money. I feel like once somebody gets their foot in the door about something, they're just going to focus on their money. This Queen of Pentacles is definitely giving me Capricorn energy. Somebody is really focused on their money, like period. Queen of Pentacles and that Ten of Pentacles. Somebody make a judgment. Like, I'm with the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could also make a judgment and stop talking to someone in their family because they've caused a conflict. So they abandoned them. Or this has been happening for a while. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah. Somebody makes a judgment about focusing on their money and marrying. I feel like somebody finna marry the bag. So that's going to be the name of this reading. Just marry the bag, Earth Signs. Just marry the bag. Somebody just marrying the bag. Period. I feel like somebody is also having to make a decision about um, being in a relationship or being married to somebody. Or Yeah, somebody's got to just figure it out. They could have children could be involved in this as well. That's what can make it a little bit difficult. All right. Now, why is the two of Pentacles here reversed with the moon card and the five of cups reversed for earth signs? Or somebody has to make a decision about who's going to be their, their, you feel me, their lifelong partner. Who can I build a family with in this relationship? Somebody has to make a decision about that. All right. I feel like somebody takes a leap of faith, though, with a fire sign. And that causes a conflict. Somebody takes a leap of faith with the fire sign and it causes a conflict because this person could already have someone, an ex-wife. Or this person could have been, I feel like, a conflict start because somebody... So I feel like you could have wanted to be with a, with a fire sign, but this Queen of Swords reverse starts a conflict with what you want. By talking negatively or by speaking negatively about you, Earth sign. So somebody could be around you speaking negatively about you. Or this person could be telling you not to deal with this Earth sign. Okay? I mean, not this Earth sign. could be an Earth sign, but this fire sign. I feel like you may want to take a leap of faith with this person tells you that this is not going to work out. But I feel like they right, but the way they say it is kind of like, damn, you ain't had to shatter my dreams like that. <laughs> Why is the magician card here with the three of wands? Why is the magician card here with the three of wands? I feel like you go back to... I feel like you go back to making a change here. I feel like you go back to not talking to somebody or not doing something that you just not finna do. And I also feel like you're not going to be able to move on to these new changes until you let go of certain situations or let certain things leave your life is what I'm getting literally. I feel like you're dealing with a Leo, somebody dealing with a Leo and it's not a good thing. Why is the goddess of cups here with the tower card and the sun, please? Yeah, something about this Leo. I think the the reason, okay, so you know why this Leo is coming back because they because they know that you've gotten unstuck from some sort of situation. That's how come they know to pop up and appear in your life. So this Leo, this fire sign, they coming back to start some sort of drama or they already have. Somebody has emotional, toxic emotion issues from childhood and they juggle being manipulative to get their victory from you. All right, so watch out. Any other messages? I'm like, watch out for that Leo or whoever the fuck. Yeah. Somebody's going to send you, somebody's coming with a message about starting something new or starting a new beginning, but there could be some bullshit involved with that earth sign. So just be aware. Not all offers are good offers. Just stay married to the bag, but be aware of who you're working with. What you're working with, don't stop, pop that, don't stop. Somebody popping that don't stop on what you're working with. They're like, I'm working 20 hours a day. I'm popping that don't stop on them, okay? Pop that, pop that, don't stop. Make that don't stop. Somebody can. Somebody is doing some serious overtime at work, potentially. 
or somebody is really thinking about putting in work on something or they're about to go ham on something, okay? Somebody stops fumbling the bag is what I feel like. I don't feel like you was necessarily fumbling the bag before, but somebody gets really focused on like just, okay, all this other shit, I can, I can get over this shit or I'm already over this, okay? Let's get some advice for you before we get out of here. Earth signs. That was a good reading. I mean, in my opinion, it was. It was a whole lot of cards on the board. Let's get it organized again. Got to get organized after this, after all the readings. My bad, y'all. Anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the reading, you guys. Like the video and definitely do not forget to subscribe, okay? Period. You don't want to miss when your good sis go live now, do ya? All right, let's get some messages here for Earth Signs. Let's get the messages here, the advice for this week for my Earth Signs. Okay, what's the advice for divine feminine and divine masculine for my earth signs? What's the advice for divine feminine and divine masculine? Somebody is opening their third eye chakra. It's, it's opening really, really fast. I'm getting somebody could see flickering like above their head or like in the center of their head. They could see flickering here. Somebody's mind is upgrading possibly to have to be in harmony. All right, what's the advice for Divine Feminine? What's the advice for Divine Masculine Earth Signs, please? Okay, so we have Crown Chakra and Crystal Keys. What did I just say? That's literally what I said. I feel like somebody's crown somebody's downloading information from the ethers or somebody could be channeling. So pay attention to the ideas that you get. Like I said, these are the miracles that are happening for you. The ideas that you're getting are going to help you. All right, what's the Okay, so the advice for divine masculine is to look at how they're communicating. Okay, check out how you're communicating. Are you saying exactly what you need to say? Or are you are you keeping things in? Be aware to be clear about what you want, clear about your intentions. All right. Or you could be exp expressing yourself differently or expanding in how you express yourself. You can be talking to people telepathically, possibly, or being more open to that or sending people more telepathic messages, perhaps. I feel that as well. So, um, all right, this has been your guys' reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to the subscribe button with the post notification bell. And if you want to book a private reading with me or sign, check the description box below. It has my email, Instagram, and my Facebook. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.